Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg No Q today. He's going to miss out because today I'm doing the Taco Bell Steakhouse Burrito. Now before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. I'm going to read you the list of ingredients, but I'm going to cheat. i got to read it right off the website because I'll end up missing something. What we're about to review is the Steakhouse Burrito. It has a double portion of grilled marinated steak, hearty potato bites, crispy bacon, cool sour cream, and a new zesty queso sauce. Served with chips and queso. I got the entire box for $6.86 with a large drink. As always, everything comes all together in one box, including sauces if you order them. In this case, I got the Beef Steakhouse Burrito, the order of nachos, and a large drink for $6.84. Now I'm going to cut this in half and get a true close-up. As you can see, it's a nice size. And unlike most things in life, when I say it's a nice size, I don't mean that in a derogatory fashion. Let me just say this thing smells amazing. It smells like bacon and steak. I don't know how you can go wrong with that combination. There's some potato. You see the steak. You see the bacon. You see the cheese. If you look real hard, you can see the zesty queso sauce. It's actually a pretty good looking product. Now, as I said in the close-up, when I cut this thing open, the smell was amazing, which is rare for Taco Bell. I like their products a lot, but one of the things that rarely happens is a good smell coming from Taco Bell. In this case, the steak and the bacon smelled amazing. Going to go in for that first bite. Wish me luck. Bite two. Bite three. Okay, before we get started, a little house cleaning. I actually did something I very rarely do anymore. I watched two or three reviews of this from different people before trying the product myself. I usually don't do that because I don't want anyone to prejudice my way of thinking. In this case, the reviews I saw were not very favorable. One of my favorites was from Ian K. He may have been the first person on YouTube to get this review up. I'll throw him a link here. Actually, I'll put the link in the description. Go check him out. Let's just say this wasn't his favorite product ever. So going into this, I was curious, has Taco Bell finally dropped the ball? Have they finally messed up? In this case, I'm going to say no. And I am someone that hates potatoes in my burritos. Hates it with a passion. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm not that big of a fan of Taco John's. Those of you that are familiar with what they do, a lot of their meals include potatoes in the burritos. Yeah, I know, you can get them to hold it, but... When something's like 40% of a burrito and you ask them to hold it, you're not getting very much burrito after that. In this case, the potato worked well with all of the other ingredients. When I bit into this, which was amazing, the first thing I tasted was the bacon. I would almost have called this a bacon burrito. Now, what was weird about the flavor, I, I see the bacon bits now, but when I opened it up, I didn't see any bacon but there was an overwhelming taste of bacon. Those awful little bacon bits that Taco Bell uses for their breakfast items that I dislike with a passion, in this case, worked perfectly. Steak, it tasted more like pepper steak, but it was still very good, especially for this price. I think I'm going to give this another outstanding grade for Taco Bell. I promise I'm not on their payroll, but I like this way more than I expected to, especially for the price now, I just we just did the uh, big box review where you get five things for $5. In this case, you're paying $6 and you're getting nachos, a burrito, and a drink. But it feels like a quality burrito to me. It doesn't feel like I'm getting ripped off. Nationally, it's $6.19. Like I said, with tax, I paid $6.86. i am going to give this burrito a 94. Let me know what you guys think. Am I the only person that really thought this was a quality product? It's usually me saying something sucks and everyone else loving it. In this case, it's kind of the reverse from what I've seen. I'd be interested to hear you guys' opinion. No Facebook shoutouts today. Today was just a real quick video. Q will be back uh, probably towards the end of the weekend. I think I have one more video coming out without him, but trust me, it's going to be a product you can't get anywhere else, and it's going to be interesting to see. I promise you that. Uh, next week... Thanksgiving, we're going to have a full week of videos. We're even going to put a video out Thanksgiving morning to give you guys something to do to get away from the annoying relatives when they come to town. So that's it for today. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Mr. Happy 0121. I'm a bit out of practice at this because I'm used to him doing it. But until next time, stay vigilant.